for a couple of months, and uh, our guys have been uh, working really hard in the off season. I've been really pleased with their effort and, uh, and the, the, just the strides we've made physically to this point, and the opportunity for our staff to to get in place, get to know these guys, and uh, we're we're uh, we're excited and, and uh, feel like prepared and ready to to begin practice and and uh, anxious to see what we've got. We, we've had a chance to see all these guys on film, uh, see them run around in some some uh, conditioning workouts and those kinds of things, but nothing really to uh, to give us an indication on on who our our players are going to be at each position. We can certainly speculate based on who's played and, and uh, what we've been a able to see on film, but I'm really anxious to see these guys in, in person and uh, watch them in our schemes, see them compete, get a chance to coach them. Raymond uh, had an injury and uh, had surgery and is uh, not enrolled in the academy this spring, and uh, we're, we're hopeful that he'll be enrolled in the fall and uh, be a, uh, an opportunity for him to uh, to possibly return to the program. I interviewed Jay four years ago when I took the Georgia Southern job and was really impressed with him. And uh, we, we competed against Jay in the same league in the Southern Conference before they went to Ball State. I was always very impressed with his teams, uh, with his defenses, and how hard they played, the effort. Uh, I thought they were a very well-coached unit, uh, understood their defense. They, they had guys in place to make plays. and. Uh, and he's, he's a very enthusiastic, hard-nosed, tough football coach, which I value in a coach. And uh, that, that's my style. And I certainly want to have uh, leaders on each side of the ball in, in each uh, specific unit, offense, defense, and special teams that, that, uh, that are tough and, uh, and will demand toughness from their teams and, and great effort. And uh, I, I think that's what we're going to get from Jay. Anything else on the phone? One other question. I just wanted to ask uh, about the, the players coming from the prep school uh, at, uh, at Army this past year. If uh, uh, there are players there that you feel that uh, can step in and, and help uh, this upcoming season. I'm certain we're going to have players from, from both the prep school as well as uh, direct admits, guys that are coming straight from high school. Uh, they're still seniors in high school right now that will join us this summer. I'm certain that there will be several of those guys that will, will have to contribute. In terms of who the starters are going to be, I don't know. We don't have a, a starting lineup going into to spring practice tomorrow. So it's uh, every position's up for grabs, and I hope that's going to create some great competition. And I'm sure we'll have competition again in the fall uh, among that plebe class or freshman class. Uh, they'll, they'll be competing with each other, but I think we'll find there'll be some of those guys that will be able to compete for jobs uh, playing on Saturdays. So. Uh, we're looking forward to getting all those guys to join us uh, in August. Hey, thanks, Coach. Anything else? All right, we'll come back here. We'll go around. Go ahead. Coach, you talked about team working togetherness, which is, I guess, the mantra of every football coach in the world. But team working togetherness would seem to be ingrained in these guys. Is it something you have to work or think you'll have to work as hard? It, I think that's something that always needs to be worked on. Uh, I don't, I don't take anything for granted in terms of a group of people just being uh, team-oriented, so that's not something that we need to focus or concentrate on. I, I think that uh, every one of the, the officers that's working here at the academy that's been out in the field and worked with soldiers uh, will tell you that that's something they work on all the time, is togetherness and teamwork and, and working together and having a spirit for each other. If, if you're not if you're not bonded and connected to the people that you're working with, uh, particularly 